Hey guys, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can output audio to multiple audio devices on macOS. So there's two ways you can do this. You can create a aggregate device or you can create a multi-output device. And the kind of device that you decide to create depends on the audio devices that you're using. So I'm going to show you how you can do both. First, let's start out with the multi-output device. On your Mac, open an app called Audio MIDI Setup. This is a stock app on macOS, so you'll be able to find it from Launchpad, from Spotlight, and in the application folder in Finder. Make sure you've connected all your audio devices to your Mac and then open this app. And you're going to see in this column on the left that all your audio devices are listed here. At the bottom, there's this plus button, and what you have to do is you have to click it, and from the menu, select the Create Multi-Output Device option. Now this is going to create a multi-output device here, and in this pane on the right, you'll be able to select all your audio devices. Select the ones that you want to route the audio through and right click this multi output device here and then select the use this device for sound output option. Once you do that, any audio that you play on your Mac from this point forward is going to be routed through all the audio devices that you added to your multi output device. So the second method is to create an aggregate device and the process is very similar. Go ahead and open the Audio MIDI app and in this column on the left you'll see the same plus button. Go ahead and click it and this time in the menu you need to select create aggregate device. Once you've created the aggregate device you will see that all your audio devices are listed here in this pane on the right. Go ahead and select all the audio devices that you want to route the audio through. Now in some cases you might see a device appears twice, like this device here. This is because my speaker, which is a Bluetooth speaker, it has both a speaker functionality and it also works as a mic. So it's listed here twice. Which is why I'm going to be selecting it twice, that allows me to select the entire device. Now next what you need to do is you need to open this clock source drop down here and then select the built-in output option. And once you've done that, you'll see that under subdevices, you can see all the audio devices that you've added to the aggregate device. What you need to do now is you need to select this built-in output option and then drag it to the very end. After that, all you need to do is right click the aggregate device that you added and select the use this device for sound output option. And when you play audio on your Mac, it is going to be routed through all the audio devices that you added to the aggregate device. Now the question is when should you use an aggregate device and when should you use a multi-output device? This kind of depends on the hardware that you're working with. If the audio output device that you're trying to connect to your Mac and output audio to has both an input and an output channel, you might be better off going with an aggregate device. The device may not work when you select it under multi-output device. So what you should do is you should first try the multi-output device option and if that doesn't work, go with the aggregate device. And under aggregate device, make sure you select your device as many times as it's listed there because it's going to be listed separately as an output channel and as an input channel. It'll take a little testing between these two types of devices, but they're pretty easy to create so it's not going to be that time consuming. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later with more tech tips.